Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. The Rock Review is thrilled to bring you an incredible country music singer songwriter with 20 hits and three number ones. It is Daryl Worley. Thanks for coming on the show, Daryl. Thank you. Uh, you know, we got to talk about this new country rewind tour with a few of your friends, and you're also going to have special guests, uh, depending on the cities you're in. Uh, tell me about this. Well, you know, they they I'm I'm the one that knows the least. They uh they called me. <laughs> They called me last, and that was fine with me. I, just, I was just thrilled to get a phone call from someone that would, wanted me to go out and play some music, man. It's been, you know, last year was just in, insane. And uh, so, so good to be back out doing some stuff and um, working with Brian White and, and Wade Hayes. You know, I've, I've known those guys forever, and they're just incredible human beings. I mean, uh, you know, I'm probably the the most uh, rambunctious of the three, and so it's a very it's a very quiet, reserved kind of hang, you know, which is good for me, I guess. <laughs> My wife is thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you help bring you help bring the rowdy to the show, Daryl. Oh, I bring it. I have to. I mean, you know, it, it, it's like it's it's the best hang in the world because those guys are just really. Um, great guys and, and, you know, pretty, pretty conservative, pretty reserved. And, and, uh, and, and we're all kind of the same. We don't, we don't expect anything out of this except to go out, play our music. People are enjoying it, man. People are so hungry to get out and, and just do anything. And, and live music seems to be a big deal and a big treat right now. So, I mean, we couldn't be in a better situation and, um, the tour is really cool. It's it's uh, the three of us on stage at the same time. You know, we're uh, uh, up there on stools just telling our stories and playing those hit songs. And, uh, you know, the, the dates that we've done have just been incredible. I, I can't I can't even tell you how extremely excited I am to be out doing something. Last year, I, it scared me to death. I You know, I mean, my faith is strong. I just think I'm a working guy. I don't. I don't depend on anything else except, you know, my butt out there hustling and right. uh, last year just, just shut us down. So, uh, I'm sure thrilled to be a part of it. I was very, very excited when they, when I got the call about, you know, hooking up with these guys and, um, I know everybody has a few dates that, that, you know, they might have to miss one here and there. So we've got people like Billy Dean and Andy Griggs and other folks that are filling wow. in on the dates. I don't have, Right now, uh, looking into the future, I don't have a single one that I'm going to have to miss uh, unless something else comes up, you know. So we're just uh, we're just loving it. It's good. Well, and I got to bring this up too, Daryl. It's great timing for you, considering your uh, your album that came out, Second Wind, latest and greatest hits, was so well received, and then the pandemic happens, oh, yeah. and you can't and you can't tour with it. So it's got to be fun for you being able to get on the stage and perform with these guys and bring these songs to your fans. It is. And, and it's so weird. Uh, <laughs> when I saw the notes about our interview today, I, I saw the second wind album on there and I thought, Oh my gosh. Cause that song came off of the very first project I ever did. And, and I thought, Oh, we're going to talk. And then it dawned on me. Oh, that's your latest album, Daryl. Uh, it's, it's, that's the title. It's that, that's how long it's been, you know, since, since we finished it. And right. so uh, it, to think of it as being new, you're absolutely right. It's almost like, uh, we just unveiled it, but, but it's yeah. been around for a while because of the virus, you know, but I think for a lot of the audience, it will be new and be able to bring oh, yeah. these songs to them. They're going to be thrilled. I got to tell you, you know, uh, so seeing you up on the Opry website, you know, they the, the Grand Ole Opry has a nice little write up on you. And uh, I know how much you enjoy playing the Opry every time you get the chance. Absolutely. And I didn't know I was up there. I got to go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm learning a bunch today. <laughs> you know, being raised in a small town like you were, and I mean, you know, born in Memphis, but, uh, you know, it, it always amazes me, you know, hanging out and talking with you to where, you know, you're more the rowdy guy. But then again, your 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 dad was was a preacher, and your mom sang in church. Us preachers' kids, we've got I guess we've got something to prove. <laughs> and uh, the bad thing is, it doesn't wear off; it stays with you for your whole life. So uh, my my wife, she's she's uh 
I had to get permission, you know, to go back out on tour. We I'd been home for so long, but but I think she was about ready to let me go. So, uh, yeah, man, I I I just love to have a good time, and so that's that's part of what I bring to this is I I get those guys fired up, and there's a lot of banner on stage that's really fun, you know, and uh, you don't you don't get a whole lot of uh, extra babble out of of Wade Hayes, but I try to I try to you know, stoke it up as much as I possibly can. <laughs> well, you always do. You know, I remember when I first moved here to Nashville and I, I came down to Broadway and caught you. I think you were playing Margaritaville. You were doing a songwriter round. And it's like, and I thought, oh, I'll just stop in for a little while. And you were so entertaining and <laughs> sounded so great. I stayed for the whole show. Oh, that's kind. I appreciate <laughs> that. Well, man, I mean, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, artists, I guess, uh, these days would might not be all that into uh, going out and doing this acoustic stuff, especially just solo. Uh, I'm thankful that Brian and Wade are both really good players because they can certainly help me out. I, 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 but I don't mind doing that kind of stuff. I've, I've always felt pretty comfortable, you know, just sitting there with a guitar doing that thing. And a lot of people don't like being under the microscope, but uh, if you can pull it off, I think, these days people absolutely love that you know and uh some of the places that we've gone to and, and where we're doing this you know you would expect it to be more of a, a rowdy crowd and they're there some of them are like little clubs or dance halls you know and uh but you'd be surprised how intent and and very respectful the crowds have been you know we don't have to fight to get above the crowd noise and of course i'm one of those guys i'll tell them you know i i I can't compete with all you guys with just me and this acoustic guitar. So if y'all get too loud, I'm just going to come out there and get me a cold beer and, and party with you. <laughs> 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 and they want to hear the music. So they, they keep it down, <laughs> down enough that we can hear over them. <laughs> that is incredible. What I wanted to also bring up Daryl, you know, you've done so much charity work over the years, particularly with your Tennessee river run and, uh, you know, and things you've done for St. Jude and with the Daryl Worley Foundation and everything. How do you see that in the coming, you know, year, two years as things start to open up again? Because I know also the USO tours. I know how all of this is so near and dear to your heart. Well, we we had to cancel the uh, river run last year for the very first time. It was it would have been our 20th year. And uh, it's kind of heartbreaking for me. But uh, it wasn't just the virus. There were some other things uh, that came into play there. Uh, but I believe that that event will be bigger and better than this year than it's ever been. Uh, I mean, if things continue to sort of trend the way they are right now, uh, a lot of people, I think, are still in the mindset that that everything is, is really, really, really locked down. But, but man, what I'm seeing out there is, is I think it's really starting to open back up again. And I think it has to, uh, I mean, I'm one of those people that, uh, the, the American dream is still alive and well for me. And I got to get out there and pay, pay my dues and, and, and pay the bills, you know? <laughs> so, uh, I'm just thrilled. Um, I think our charity work, is is has grown I, I, the foundation is bigger and better than anything i could have ever dreamed and so uh i believe you know hit songs are are a wonderful thing but i think that that will be my legacy i believe that someone right here in this little old bitty town is going to see that foundation and go man that's a work that need to, needs to carry on and continue i believe i, I believe that's something that i can leave behind that will just continue to help people through the years. And I'm just thrilled about it. I, I think it's incredible work. Well, I want to make sure too, for our viewers, Daryl, that they know where to go for your website, social media and everything. So they can find out when you're coming to their city for, for the country rewind tour. And also, you know, cause it's going to be new to a lot of people with second wind, you know, <laughs> if they need to buy a copy, download it, put it in their playlist. Cause you've got so many of your great hits in there. Where do our viewers need to go, Daryl? Well, DarylWorley.com is, you know, that's that's the center of it all. Uh, obviously, my website, and and we're doing a good job of keeping everything updated and 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 getting all those dates on there, so folks can 
can, can, you know, know exactly where we're going to be. And my socials, we've been working really hard on all that stuff. So Facebook and what I'm doing now is TikTok, but they're, they're all linked to the website and it's real easy to find. And so, you, you know, I just tell people DarylWorley.com is, is the, the space to go find the information and then you can go from there. Well, I'll tell you what, Daryl, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for coming on the Rock Interview, talking about your new tour. And uh, obviously, I, I love the album Second Wind, which I know uh, your fans and everybody when they see you on tour are going to enjoy it in person finally. Daryl Worley, thank you for coming on the Rock Interview. Man, it's been a hoot. It's great to see you again. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 